Hello, my beautiful people. Are you ready to work with the intangible energies of the universe in a practical and tangible way that can be used to sync up with the moon? Are you ready to up your manifesting game? Are you ready to learn more about the lunations and use them to your benefit? If you are, then the Lunar Lacuna is absolutely for you. So many of you know that I spent 2023 in a really deeply creative sphere. And with the ideas and the things that came to me, they gestated within me. They grew and so I nurtured them, I nourished them, I cajoled them. And in all of it, I just got really well and truly into my, what I like to call my Hermione mode. I have no idea why it's called that, by the way. Um, I had an energy work session with a friend, a really dear friend of mine in 2018, and uh, who is an absolute energy work goddess, by the way. She really helped me unlock my creativity, and it's just been flowing ever since. But 2023 for me was a, it was a personal year number three. It was an incredible creative stream that was just on tap. So I hear you asking, what the fuck is a lacuna? <laughs> right, so in a very deep meditation last year, I asked for a place to gather and I wanted to use the cycles of the moon and attune to the seasons and I also wanted to bring those within my community that feel called to join together, right? I needed what I called like a true container. That's what I said to the universe and under the light of a full moon, and it was a full moon at the time, uh, Luna whispered back, no my darling, what you need is a cradle. And I knew straight away, I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I know exactly what this is gonna be, right? So um, the the word, or should I say the, the term lacuna is Spanish for the cradle, right? Having watched one of my favorite shows for like the gazillionth time, I knew exactly when that word was channeled to me, cradle, I knew exactly what the name would be. It's gonna be a meeting place for those of us that are sensual, sexual even, right? Um, it's gonna be a place for those that are sensual, empathic, empathetic, feeling, knowing, psychic, potent, dreamy, changeable, moody, watery by their very nature. This is going to be a place, you know, really uh, for communication. It's going to be for the rule breakers, the change makers, the fringe dwellers in some way, shape or form. But it will be a place of honest communication without censorship. All right. The show that I mentioned that I was talking about is actually called Sensate. So if you don't already know about it, I don't know what rock you live under, but get out from under that and go and binge the damn show on Netflix. It's amazing. You'll get so much out of it. Now, in astrology, whenever we talk about our needs, we really are talking about the moon, right? The cradle of life is the realm of the mother and therefore lunar. Now, just wanna say, I am fully aware that I am a man and I dare not usurp the realm of women. Their, sa their space is sacred uh, and as is that of the masculine and it's important that their spaces stay sacred. However, this has really felt like something that's guided to me and it's been a long time coming, right? So it's finally coming together. All of this came into the, really harkens back to the first ever big dream that I ever had at the tender age of like three years old, I kid you not. I searched for over two decades to decode the meaning of this dream. And finally, I really have come into an understanding of what this actually means. And its presence on my path, <clears throat> excuse me, is kind of how it's guided me, right? Um, there was, and funnily enough, this dream that I had when I was three years old, it was the first ever spiritual, like big dream that I ever had. And as a part of that was a full moon which is how I know um, that this is right, right? Like this is where everything is supposed to be going for me. Now, dreams are also under the realm of our dear Luna, our fair goddess in the sky. Uh, have you ever noticed how your dream activity spikes around the new moon and the full moon? I think it's really important that we as human beings attune to the moon, right? That we follow and live by her cycles because after all, our own cycles of hair, nails, skin, everything is very deeply attuned to, uh, to the moon and vice versa. So in the cradle, you will find community, you will find connection. I've retired the idea of uh, manage, trying to manage a Facebook group. Honestly, it's too much work and I, it just doesn't feel like this is a part of it. So I've got something else that I think is gonna be much better. We will gather 
prior to each lunation, new and full, and there will always be time for you to action the things that we're talking about, meaning you're gonna spend two nights a month with me on a Zoom call, one for each lunation. And really for me, what's important as the father of this cradle uh, is that I'm a part of it, right? That I'm within the collective and that we weave our song and our magic around and under the gaze of our fair Luna. Um, and we do so with intention. We do it with honesty and connection. I don't just want a group of people who talk the talk. I want us to literally walk around the moon and her cycles. And if this sounds like something that you are interested in, then the lacuna is absolutely for you, right? So many astrologers postulate that a lunation cycle is like 28 days, which of course it is, right? So the moon or the moonth, uh, this is where we get the word month from, right? The, the moonth or the moonth of uh, time. Uh, is a cycle, right? And there are cycles and cycles are worth mentioning and noting, but I've personally had a lot more success with observing the larger cycles, meaning that when I plant a seed in a, the moon of one sign, it doesn't usually produce fruit or or, or sort of bring its, its fullness out until the corresponding full moon. That's a six month cycle as opposed to a 28 day one. So when I plant something in Taurus season of, you know, uh, around this time when I'm putting this out, uh, I don't really usually see the results for that until the Taurus full moon later in the year. So, you know, obviously for me personally, as I said, for myself and clients that I've kind of helped with this as well, we're getting much better results with that. So, and it's worth mentioning, some moons are male malefic, some are ripe for manifesting, some moons are eclipses, some are just for observance, right? Come and find out which is which in a place of, that is safe, and fun, right? So I will be sharing in greater depth over the following 12 months, and that's what we'll be doing. So it's gonna be a 12 month journey. You can pay annually or you can pay by month. It's completely up to you. We're gonna be delving into the astrology. We're gonna be looking at the flavor and the texture of each moon. We're gonna be looking at intention setting, absolutely. We're gonna be journaling. There's gonna be journal prompts as well. Now, if you've been with me long enough, <laughs> You know Raffi loves a PDF and I know nobody cares about those things, but I love them and I've created something that's gonna help you track your progress, right? So you're gonna get numerology insights. You're gonna get what's most important about all of this that has not been done before is the energy work. We are going to attune you and your energy to the specific lunar energies that are playing out so that the seeds that you plant at each new moon absolutely have the best shot and chance to become something real and tangible in your world, right? The pricing, as I said, is annual, so it's either £250 for the year or £25 a month. There will always be a recording of the material so that you can return to it, and also this helps you track your progress. And then at the end of this 12 months, we're gonna look back over the year's worth of lunar attunement, and we're gonna see all of the magic that you have gained and how much you have advanced. It's open to everyone. So the guys amongst you out there, I wanna know, I want you to know you are my brothers, and uh, this is absolutely a space for you as well. Please don't let uh, you know all of the talk of everything feminine put you off. This is a safe space for everybody to utilize Luna's energies. And quite frankly, as a guy, um, personally, I know I'm a little bit of a werewolf. I go a bit around the time of the full moon, <laughs> right? If you are a guy, this is gonna help you really rebalance the masculine and feminine within yourself. So as I say, this is gonna be a culture, it's gonna be a cradle of culture and connection and harmony, right? A place where we can laugh, where we can hang out, share stories and insights and be a part of a collective. So the first one goes live on the 18th of May at 9.30 a.m. UK time. Don't worry, the ones that follow after this will be at a much more palatable time, I promise. But um, the problem with this one is it's too good an energy to miss, right? So I was like, listen, walk your talk, Raph. I'm gonna use this astrology to, uh, to launch this out into the world because it's just too nice not to. So what are you getting? Let me clarify this for you. You're gonna get to spend time with me and a bunch of amazing souls twice a month, the new moon and the full moon of each. It won't be on the day. 
right? So this is going to give you time to actually action all of the things so that you're ready. So come the new moon, you can do your things as a seamless process. During the sessions, we're going to explore the astrology of the lunation, the numerology of the month. Obviously, it wouldn't be Radiant Reality without a few card pulls here and there. Uh, and there's a few things with that that I'm not going to talk about here. You'll have to be a member to discover. Uh, and there will also obviously be the energy work component that is specifically tailored to each lunation and its unique signature. There will not be any recordings around the energy work. And the reason for that is because it's that part you've got to be there for, all right? Each call will be no more than around two hours, give or take, because we know like Rafi loves to talk. <laughs> but as you can tell, I'm super excited about this. It's going to be easy, digestible, actionable among everything else. Uh, and remember, we kick off this wonderful voyage on the 18th of May at 9.30 a.m. UK time. If you are interested and you feel like the Lunar Lacuna is absolutely for you, get to the link on the description box below and it would be my absolute pleasure to facilitate this for you. All right. With that said, take care and I can't wait to see you.